Do it again. Father, we take authority over this torn meniscus. I command the pain to leave. I command this tear to be healed. In the name of Jesus. And have you start bending this knee. Just lift it up and put it down. Now. Bend it. Pain leave right now. All pain go. And you know what I want to do? The next thing I want to do is I want to test your legs. There you go. Oh my goodness. What is that? That is a lot. Over an inch. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Wow. It's like this one's shrinking a little bit. Yeah. Fire. Do you see that? Yeah, I see it this shrinking. It's shrinking a little bit. Wow. It's almost there. Oh, yeah. Okay, put it together. Wow. Perfect. Yeah. You see that? <laughs> it was swollen before. And now it doesn't seem as swollen. Praise the Lord for that. I feel no pain at all. I touched my knee a couple of times afterwards. Uh, I don't have any swelling, and it feels much better. So right now, I speak to this side of the body. I command this body to be healed. All symptoms of that stroke right now to be removed. The symptoms of the stroke go right now. I command every symptom. I command this knee to bend. I saw he got there this morning before he came to do his workout. He couldn't do any of this. He hasn't been able to do it for 20 years since he had the stroke. Uh, and even this morning, he couldn't do it when he went to his workout. But here he is now, he knows what God's doing. The symptoms of the stroke are being removed. His knee, he came in saying torn meniscus, but his knee, there's no pain in your knee right now, right? There's no pain at all. And there's not going to be any pain in Jesus' name. But you couldn't do that before. Wow, he's like, no way. 20 years. That's, that's a long time. It's a long time to not be able to do that. You should have done that with me, bro. He's going to be dancing with you, Pastor PJ.